Hello everyone and welcome back to Dolph Mod Napoleon. My name is Suplex and today we're continuing the Peninsular Campaign. Now, I know that there's a big gap between every episode and, you know, that's my fault entirely. Uh, I know that a lot of you guys still want to see this, but the Byzantine Campaign, the Hearts of Iron Campaign, and the Shogun Campaign is really, really interesting too, and if not a bit more interesting than this. Um, in fact, my Canadian campaign in Hearts of Iron 3 is fucking nail biting. You gotta check that out, even if you're not interested in it. I don't know if you watch it. I mean, I have a very split crowd. A lot of people that just watch Total War. A lot of people that just watch FPS. You know, they come and go back and forth. I see different people commenting on most of my videos. But that campaign is fucking finger biting. That thing is insane in the membrane. I cannot explain how awesome it is to play. But anyways, so... We are continuing here, and it seems like uh, like we're we're targeting uh, America. No, we're gonna take Cas. Uh, no, I think we're gonna go right. Yeah, that's where our cab was heading, right? Yes. So that's what we're doing. Um, so once again, apology for not uploading as much. I'm still sticking with it. And perhaps it's the Peninsula campaign's fault. Simply because the Peninsula campaign ain't as interesting as the rest. But yeah, having that said. I'm going to take a big sip out of my weirdly shaped bottle. Oh, it's like an old beer jug. Of just like flatter. I don't know what you say. What's flatter in, in English? It's like this tree that have like white flowers on it. I wish I knew. But anyways, it doesn't matter now, because Spain, the Spanish kingdom, has conquered Badajoz again. And Portuguese aren't doing too bad either. I like uh, the fact that the AI at least sends them around. You know, does things with them. But here's my fine army. Where are my foot guards? Wait a minute, where are my foot cards? Aha, uh -huh, yes. First battalion, second foot cards. Oh, the s French, they ran. Or are they perhaps preparing an ambush? Nope. Ah, ah, cocksuckers. Oh, well, that port isn't really an income port. First battalion, th third foot guards are going to be up against a hell of a fight. I'll pull them out. Let's see here. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, these guys ain't mucking about, are they? At least we're making money. Ooh, yes, I can recruit some more. I want Dragoons. I want King's German Legion Dragoons. That was the 10th of SARS. Of course. Got Highlanders already, got Lightfoot already, and it might need a bit more artillery, might need some 5 inch houses. And some more foot. So, numbering wise, two, you, two battalions per no. regiment. Or, or each, or Ready there's two of these units of course. And they represent a battalion each. So I think that's all sorted out. Yeah. Need some more light companies up here. Got one here. But anyhow, let's end the turn again. Our navy's on its way back. Ah, found one there. It's been on a little tour of raiding. Trying to trying to find the French where they're hiding. And I think I need to produce some more trade ships. Because I know that I have a couple down at the right, a couple down at the left, a couple up at the top. But I need a more. I need a stronger trade fleet so I get a higher income so I can produce more armies. Because I only have one army really floating about at this time. And he cut our income. Great. Absolutely phenomenal. I, I think I need to keep my navy close to my harbor. The large empire has many regions to administer. And there is barely enough money being made. Your empire is faster than your administration's ability to tax it. Next. Oh, fuck them in their asses. I'm not gonna jump into a sea battle. Aha, he escapes. Well, I think we'll catch him. 
Let's repair this. Ah. Alter resolve. The sea Glorious. Ours. Britannia rule the waves. We're bankrupt. Which is absolutely horrible. Um, not like we haven't been it before, haven't we? Yeah, we have. So, having that said, let's see what the enemy thinks about bankruptcy. Yes, we'll fight them. Actually, we'll also resolve that. Those artillery pieces are just a bit of a pointless attack, isn't it? Uh, demand surrender. And they accepted it. Peace of occupy it. And then we'll just root out the rest of the army once we can. This is good. So will we be getting any income? No. Everything withdraws. So, we cannot repair that. We're obviously recruiting a shit ton. But I really do want my cavalry. I want my sweet cavalry. These guys are going to have to be killed as well. Nothing that we can't deal with. Link up the foot guards and get them to this section right here. And then we're just going to move up. I think we're going to take out Valencia as well while we're at it. And we'll hunt out the navy as well and kill it with our own. I, I, I have trusted my auto-resolving navy. It just goes there, it auto resolves, and it just beats it. I can't really explain why, but it just does. Uh, on the left flank, not much is happening. We haven't really pulled up or anything, but um, I reckon that we don't have to. Because um, if we can make enough progress on the right wing, it's fine. But uh, it's really bad that the Portuguese Legion got wiped out a couple of months ago. It is truly a tragedy. It has been a tragedy. If they... I was about to flip it there. Go absolutely insane. Oh, but the Spanish are closing in on the French. Will we see a lot? Oh, wow, the Spanish are not to be fucked around with now either, it seems. Oh, okay, they're backing off. They got a lot of troops, not gonna lie. So, let's fuck these lads up royally. They've got about the same amount of ships. I'm just gonna f put full trust in my auto resolve. Hey! You! Come back here. Yeah? I hope you're ready for this. Oh, yes, and the amount of boats I'm getting is just wonderful. I cannot describe to you how good this feels. I think I'll pull these guys back now for a little repairing. While this army moves up. I'm going to go straight for Valencia. And do not worry, guys, I've got a line battle dedicated for you guys. I think we're going to let the foot guards take this out. Just in a straight line battle. Uh, it's not much, but it's always something. Battle of Murica. Murica. I love saying that. 1812. We'll see what the foot guards are capable of doing. I don't see this as a major challenge, though. Oh, considering that the opposing forces are pretty weak. Should be interesting, though. Oh yeah, and they notice to the fact that they've got white pants, unlike the majority of my army. They've got yellow facings, buff facings, grey pants. These guys are royal, so they've got the blue facing. If you'll see any regiment in the British army with blue facing at the time, like the like the Black Watch, the Royal Highland, uh, the, uh, the fourth king's own, the Royal Marines... They all had blue facings, because they were royal. They were someone's own, you know what I mean? See the third battalion, uh, two second foot guards, third foot guards in the center, and the second foot guards in the center. Oh, man. For King George and country. Very, 
very dramatic whizzling of the, the, the British Grandiers. Yeah, the French coming up with the small platoons, like, ah, oh, wee, 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 move, move, move. Oh, it's the 21A, 21st, and the 5A militia. Foot guards ready to engage! Advancing maneuvers! At the ready! Start crackling with the muskets here now. Taking some few casualties here. I'm not playing this battle out to be some sort of smarty. Oh, I love that concise volley. Oh my god. Cutting them down. Sir. Sir, our general is under attack. Oh man. They got a bit of cover from the hill though. Now these guys are getting getting as well. Oh man, that is brutal. Yes, sir. I love that maneuver. It's a truly a genius fix if you want to maneuver forward. Yet destroying. Oh, captain's down. Officer aim. Hello, ban, ban. All right. Oh wow. Oh, 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 what a fucking great volley. Infantry elite. What, why are they facing that way? Infantry elite. Okay, they've clearly not understood what I want them to do when I give them the order to, to fire in advance. That makes... that... I want them to move forward. Okay, so there's some average firing. Just charge. Extreme micro. Yo, yo, yo. No retreats. No survivor. Kill them all. A glorious victory, sir. Uh, fairly good. A bit disappointed with the shooting and uh, advancing, but we lost 47 men. That's, it. That's definitely acceptable. Good, we are making clear. We're clearing up the, the shite, aren't we? Uh, let's get some Cav, as I said before. I want some King's German Legion. I want some Hussars. I want more Hussars. Can I only get one of the 10th Hussars? Okay, well, then I get Dragoons. Heavy Cav. I want Heavy Cav that can just smack into the enemy and just destroy them. That is what they're meant for. That's the only reason why they exist. You know what would be cool? If you could have naval bombardment in this game as well. Man, in sieges and everything. I mean, even though sieges are kind of pointless in this game because you never really do besiege a fort or anything like it, it would still be really cool. French Empire retreating to Valencia. Riding their boat around as well. Oh, don't tell me they're going to try and take out my port again. They did. So I am now incomeless again. <sighs> I cannot describe how annoyed I am and probably why I should keep a boat there in the future, which I will. So Your large empire has many regions to administer. Yes. And there is barely enough money to be made. Your empire has grown faster than your administration's uh, ability to tax it. Make uh, sure you tax your provinces uh, as if and destroyed. Oh, it's a merchantman. Nice. So how the? F yes, we're getting money. Thank God for that. Officer on deck. The construction oh, of colleges and universities. Oh, he didn't destroy it. He just enables the research went outside of new for some reason. And ideas that could keep your nation Which ahead of its rivals, as well as producing gentlemen or scholars for research. 
These buildings also have the residual effect of educating the masses. However, this might be a bad thing if not carefully managed. People with ideas above their stations can cause unrest or worse. From 1760 to around 2000, I expect. Yes. I think I need to in spend some more money on merchantmen. They only take a turn or two to build and they don't cost much. But we have to sort the rest the out as well. Um, is split between the ruling class this guy got really zero options. guns? Well, these guys are going to have to be repaired. All of them. See what we can make of it. I think we've destroyed most of the French navy nearby, so we should be fine. Gonna repair them all, and then I'm gonna assign smaller boats for transporting um, issues, just to transport troops around. Um, I've got a feeling that this peninsula campaign is gonna take a really long time, since I don't play it very much, and since, well, we don't make that much progress. But I'm just gonna keep it because people like seeing it, and the sooner or later it will be done. Uh, I mean, the, the Portuguese and, and Spanish are gonna take things as well, hopefully. But you never know. I should also be upgrading things. And uh, your nation is bankrupt yeah. because as your empire has grown, the administrative infrastructure needed to tax efficiently has not grown. Is she like? Did she just change her tone on me, trying to make like what? Minus four hundred sixty-three. That's nonsense. Okay, the shittiest one here. Smallest ship, the 32 gun frigate Roebuck, will transport the cavalry somewhere. While these troops, they siege on Valencia. Continue that siege. These guys. Um, I'd love to recruit some shite in here, but I'll keep. I have to keep my my regulars in there for now. We'll simply move up there as well. Let me take a look at what I have around here that needs to be repaired. Things the advent of vineyards has turned wine production uh, from okay. a small-scale cottage industry to a major source of trade. This guy needs to go. Develop vineyards in those regions where grapes naturally grow due to climate. Order. We'll see what I'll, we'll see what I'll do with my cavalry. Yes, I know that I'm imminent bankruptcy. I've been that before. My troops will just dislike it a bit, but once we get the economy back up and rolling, we're fine. I might actually have to hire the taxes somewhere. Hopefully I'm not exempting taxes. I probably am from, from one or two reason, uh, regions for some reason. But um, by now they should be fine with it. But that is not what I was hoping for. I was hoping that I could use him as a little help in the battle. That Spanish army's had enough. The French just took it up the bum. And they're gone. Because as your empire has grown, yes, I understand that, lady. Sir, your orders? Oh my god. Oh Any my god. The amount of fucking shit that is costing me. I really do need to hire my taxes, don't I? <sighs> Can't research anything else. Because we don't have any yet. So this, this is pretty bad. This panel enables you to view the state of diplomatic relations between nations. Select a nation by clicking on their flag. Their allies, enemies, protectorates, and trading partners are displayed at the bottom of the panel. Use the arrow buttons to toggle the map between display of the selected nation's opinion of their rivals and what those nations think of them. To enter Why is Gibraltar going to be so pissed about it then all of a sudden? The on the left and press the open negotiations button. Their attitude towards you... The trade tab details all resources brought to your capital from across your empire. And shows... <sighs> Do I need to disband these guys? Or is there perhaps a ship I need to disband? To be honest, the upkeep cost it's it's pretty.
Zero guns on it anyways, it's worthless. Don't have the money to repair it anyways. Finally getting some money. So that was sorted. Dislike doing that, but it had to be done. These guys will... You're humble, sir. They hide behind women's skirts. Take ready. <sighs> Polite company. It's looking pretty bad. But that is that is better. Alright, we're going to save it here, guys. And in the next episode, we're going to take out Valencia. I hope you, you enjoyed the v video. Uh, I'm still a bit cold, as you can tell. So it's I'm not, I don't sound the most enthusiastic throughout my episodes recording. Um, but, but really, thank you for watching and all. If you're still enjoying this, then uh, rate and all. And I'll see you guys in another game uh, soon enough. Bye.